Recently, I got this comment by Kurgulin Mapping, and they said you should check out the weird circles in the Stetchin Lagoon. And after I saw this comment, I decided to go to the Stetchin Reservoir over here on the border between Poland and Germany, and immediately once you zoom in, you notice almost perfect circles. But once you zoom in, they vanish. After seeing them vanish, I was very confused, so I decided to go to other mapping softwares. And as we can see, they are visible on OpenStreetMap. And they are actually visible on a special map that I've never seen before on OpenStreetMap here. But as you can see, they are here and here. And if we zoom in, it actually says the name. This one's Brizna. And this bottom one, sorry for my pronunciation, it's probably wrong, Smika. And if we look around, you can see that there are some docks actually on the outside of it, if it would load and even what looks to be a building right there. And same goes for this one down here, as you can see there's a dock, and also apparently there are information boards right here. So what are these mysterious circles? Well, I found this Reddit post about the rings in the Stetchin Reservoir, and as you can see this person actually flew above them, and of course if you look in the comments you can find a source. Why is Reddit so helpful and so bad at the same time? So, if we go to the website, as you can see, of course it's in Polish, but if I translate it, as you can see, it says two artificial islands are being built in the Stetchin Lagoon. It says one is about 270 hectares in size, the other will be about half that size. One of the islands is an environmental island, and this will be island W22, and the other island will be W28, will serve as an active reclamation field for maintenance works of the Maritime Office of Stetchin for the next 20 years, apparently. And apparently, there was actually a competition for the names of the islands. And so, these are the names that we can see on OpenStreetMap. So, W22 was named Brizna, W28 was named Smyka. So, the island that looks more filled in will act as habitat for birds, while the island that looks like it's just a ring at this point will act as the office. But how do you go about making an artificial island like this? Well, it is made through the process of dredging. Basically, boats will move sand or soil from the bottom of the lake to the top, mainly through piping. And it's just fascinating to see the process that goes about creating these islands. And actually, this island shows more progress than could be seen on Google because Google just shows it as sand. But as you can see here, there are actually plants on the island. And something that I find pretty cool is that if we go back to Google Maps and we zoom into the spot where it disappeared, you can actually see the beginnings of this dredging process where tubes were laid out and even the start of an island here. And I just find it very cool that they built a new sanctuary for birds in the middle of this lagoon out of an artificial island. As you can see in this video, the birds almost immediately made their new home on this island. So now you know why if you look at the Stetchin Reservoir, you will see two almost perfect circles. See you next time.